What's up guys, Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. So, in the last episode, we left off by stepping into this cage for some reason. You can hit uh, X and hop in the cage, and I guess he threw us into hell or something, but... Oh, not this shit again, are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> Do you see that? Yeah, that thing's savage. Let's go kill it. Yeah! Right in the Achilles tendon. Uh, lowering equip load increases attack. Yes, yes, this is what I've been looking for. This is the... Possibly the staple item of this build. Ooh! Oh, stamina ring. Oh, fan fucking tastic. All right, uh, gonna have to call it here for today, guys, but we will be starting tomorrow's episode with the Cursed Greatwood, finally. What's up, my friends, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Here we are at the Cursed Greatwood. About freaking time, right? That undead settlement took a while. So, uh... Full disclosure, I know this boss's mechanics because they did pre-release footage of the first three bosses and I didn't know I was going to be doing um, what I'm doing now at the time, so I did watch it, but I have never done this fight before and everything after this point and most of the past several episodes has been uh, blind. But uh, yeah, just so you guys know, whoa, whoa! Whoa, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. I, uh, I did know about that, but, you know, I've completely forgotten. Yeah, I haven't watched this fight for a couple of months. And, okay, uh, this is a little easy. Um, all right, we're just gonna pop that ball sack on your back. Ugh, creepy-ass hand. Ow. And ow. Okay. Uh, it's because I said the fight was easy. So let's finish this with a little style. Maybe try and get a weapon art off or something. I mean, if they're going to make it easy, might as well try and look cool. Uh, I don't really care for this poison stuff. I kind of wish they'd given the boss better health. Uh, a lot more health and taken out this AoE nonsense. Would have been a better fight, but what do I know? What do I know? Maybe I'm over level. So, Cursed Greatwood down. We got a Transposing Kiln, Ember Restored, and that fine work. Why, thank you. Ah, Bonfire. It, yes, indeed. And what do we have here? Ha <laughs> Karma's a bitch. Tea bag. Okay, visions of armor like a dream. Not sure what that means. Could this be a hollow? Okie doke. So, uh, we don't have any vertebrae shackles. I don't think I'm going to be sticking with the Mound Makers Guild. I just joined because we happened to find this area and I wanted to check it out. But let's head back to Firelink Shrine. Level up and check out what we can do with this boss's soul. Alright, here we are in the Firelink Shrine. Let's say howdy to our lovely friend here. Who, if we're being honest, is the sole reason this game is, uh, is playable. Like, if there was just no Firekeeper, we just wouldn't be able to beat the game. Like, our character would just be fucked. So, uh, you know, give, give credit where credit's due. Uh, put two points into attunement, and now we have our second uh, slot for spells by reaching 14. Uh, I like Fireball fine. I don't really care for the rest of these. They're all okay, but uh, Fire Surge takes too much mana. Greater Combustion doesn't have any fucking range, but I'm just going to throw it in the slot just because. And, yeah, I really, I like the idea of Greater Combustion, but it needs to just have a little bit more range on it. It's, like, 
I'm too squishy. I have no poise. I can't get right up on a target unless I'm playing poorly, in which case, no. <laughs> Why would I do that? All right, let's talk to this old fool because he was looking for a transposing kiln. There you go. Yes, it is. I just handed it to you. My god, man, you talk too freaking slow. Oh, it shall suffice, shall it? Well, aren't you picky? Mm-hmm. I've already got some. You know, nobody but you understands what that means. Like, stop fucking explaining it to me in your broken old English. Shut up and just show me the mechanic. Okay, so. Uh, this is the act of trading boss souls for boss weapons. Let's look through these for a minute. All right, so I think I'm going to pick up uh, this here sword, not planning on using it or anything, and the ring just for the collection's sake of it. What up, Grey Rat? What's new with you, player? Oops, I... shit. Force of habit, I didn't really mean to skip through that. Sorry, guys. Alright, just popped a few inventory souls so we can get one more level out of all this. Uh, I don't think we're going to be putting any more in attunement until maybe like late new game plus game. Late game in new game plus. There we go. Uh, endurance is very important though. We're going to try to max that out at 160 stamina ASAP and let's get out of here. Okay, did one final lap of the undead settlement, just checking for any little items we might have missed, any little secrets, um, took my time, checked for secret walls, didn't find anything. I think we are 100% clear, but let's look around with our binoculars, just appreciate this well done zone. And, yep, I see no shinies in the distance. Let's move on with our lives. All right. So, we are back at the base of the tower where we killed the giant shooting arrows at our face. Um, so, we got the bonfire. And this is a brand new zone, zone three. And these enemies are pretty freaking easy, but also really cool. I like their wings. They're double wings, even. Like, I want those. I need to teach myself to mod at some point, so every crazy idea that pops into my head, I can actually make happen. Be wary of tough enemy. Yeah, we'll see. Somebody should leave a sign for the quote-unquote tough enemy. Be wary of Melisandre. I don't want to reload my game, so get the fuck away from the edge, please. I don't want to knock you off. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, that's the, uh... Ow. That's the Butcher's Knife from Dark Souls 2. That will heal on auto attacks. Fun fact. Pretty cool weapon. Uh, more for like a strength build, so I wouldn't be using it, but it's a cool weapon. Glad we found it. Glad they brought it back, moreover. Uh, the Brigand Set. All good stuff. That's the item we saw from up above. And some twin swords. Cool, cool. Checking for secret walls, as per usual. Um, in case you guys are concerned with my secret wall checking, I do do most of it off camera. Because I you know, don't want to kill three enemies and spend 20 minutes checking secret walls in an episode. So, just wanted to let you know that. Yeah, you're alive. Not anymore, but you know. Hey, hey, have you heard the word? 
Have you heard the good word about backstabbing? Tight night shard. And nothing else up here. Let's see what that message is. Visions of Sniper Spot. Yes, indeed. Ooh, looks like there's a secret path down below that bridge. And I see one of those caster bird gargoyle things, whatever the fuck, on the other side. And I never do shit like this, but, you know, let's mix it up. Freaking make an elect let's play here. Let's, uh, let's try new stuff. Let's pew pew this guy down. Little practice with the bow. This is actually going quite well. Quite well. Hey, don't duck below my arrows. I've committed to this path already, and if you make me look dumb, then people won't watch my let's play. Cool, he's dead. <laughs> oh. Breaking that fourth wall, you know, Deadpool style. Alrighty. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. Uh, try jumping in a moment. In a moment. And that path goes all the way around. This is a cool little zone. Just fucking loving this game so far, by the way. Yeah! Yeah! And... Excuse me, sir. Ah, I messed it up. Excuse me? Have you heard the word? Damn it! <laughs> Every time I think it's a sure thing, I don't get the frickin' backstab. There we go! There we go. Little backstabular education for that guy. And this is where that caster dude was standing. We got a free ember. Excellent. Can never have too many of those. I am hoarding them like Scrooge McDuck. Ember McDuck. And now let's hop down onto that little secret path over here. See what we got. Gently. Lovely. All right. A little message. Could this be a hidden path? Obviously. But yeah. Your message did cause the hidden path to stand out, so that's why I gave you the thumbs up. Duo ahead, you don't say. What up, dogs? Ew, since when do dogs throw up? That's raunchy. Aw, belly rub. Belly rub with my katana. Uh, that was... Did that say Braille in it? Morn's ring? What do we got? Boosts, miracles, and a Braille tome. So the Braille tome must be for the blind lady that we rescued from the cell. So I bet she teaches miracles, and that unlocks them. Hey, excuse me, sir. Have you have you heard the good news about our Lord and Savior Melisandre the Backstabber? Get fucked. <laughs> oh, guys, this game is too much fun. It should be illegal. All right, so that looks like that was it for that little transitional zone there. Sort of a, a nice hallway, if you will. Uh, we got a bonfire, and let's summon in a phantom. Let's just see what fucking happens. That could take a second for him to summon in, and I don't feel like jump cutting, so let's talk to these guys. Unkindled like you. What up, Henri? And Horus. Huh. So you guys should know that I'm pretty deaf. So I pretty much just read the subtitles. So if I ever pronounce shit wrong, I'm doing the best I can. Uh, 
I have to kind of infer from context because I can't read lips in this game. Because there are no facial animations. Not a big deal, just thought I'd let you guys know in case it ever sounds like... Why the fuck did Wolf War respond that way? He said his name before the guy said his name. It's because I'm reading the, uh, the text. Okay. What up, friend? No, I don't want to point. I should... I need to put Bow in the first slot. Uh, Bow. Hello, friend. What are you doing? It's time to fight, fool. I am more than ready for some PvP action. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Burn! Burn, motherfucker, burn! Oh, that landed. Bullshit. Mm-hmm. Is he rocking an Uchi, too? Good man. But he's got a shield like a fool. Hang on. Yeah, that's hella Uchi. Oh, this is cool. Really good. Oops. Really good first PvP match. A little Uchi versus Uchi. Oh, I want to do a... to educate him. On the backstabular philosophy. But my internet connection is very shitty where I'm at right now. I'm looking for a place very hard so I can get a, a, a pro-level internet connection. And uh, I really need, I have to have it for Twitch, which is why I'm not doing Twitch stuff just yet. But that's fine. In the meantime, I am learning tons about YouTube. And, oh, come on. Come on. I fucking got you. You know it. Yeah, and, and for the record, don't... If you bow to an opponent in PvP in this game, any opponent, and they bow to you, don't heal with Estus. Top yourself off, but don't heal with Estus. You can heal with spells, don't heal with Estus. It's, it's a... It's a rule. Um, it's a... Oh, <laughs> yeah! Oh, that... Oh, jeez, that was just... Perfect. That was just perfect. That was the best way to break the cherry of PvP for Dark Souls 3. Oh, that was so much fun. And, yeah, didn't even get the bonfire first. Badass! Okay, so we healed up. Let's finish talking to these chappies over here. Horace. He's not very talkative. But don't think Illus he doesn't look very talkative. Standing, kind hearted knight. Find partner for this grueling journey. Without his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. We are well along the road. Oh, that's cute. Below are you guys a couple? Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the undead legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We may go our Okay, so we, of we have Farron Legion. Up next, or Farron, Farron Keep, and then the Farron Legion is the the enemies from the uh, oh gross I'm not joining the fucking Blue Sentinels. The Farron Farron's Legion is the guys from the starting cinematic of the game. Um, I am very tempted to kill those guys because they are Blue Covenant. Just to make a point, because I'm red all day backwards and forwards uh but the uh, Horus is Horus seems really mean and the other guy was being super nice so you know I'm not an asshole I just have principles I just play for the red team but I won't I don't have to kill blue people just cause they're blue that's, that's like Dark Souls racism yeah yeah what you know about the word So, looks like we've got a swamp going on here. So those are some big ass sharp sticks they've got. Uh, what up, dog? Burn. Get away. Yeah. Get down. And... Oh, come on. What is your problem, dude? You need... Oh, come on! <laughs> 
This would never happen in Bloodborne. Ugh, can't wait to play Bloodborne with you guys. Parrying is so much fun. I do enjoy backstabbing in Dark Souls 3, but it's, uh, it's different. Not necessarily my play style. Not bad at it, as you can see, but... Uh, if you think I'm good at backstabbing in Dark Souls, just know that I will be much better at parrying in Bloodborne. So, you know, something to look forward to. If you're enjoying what you're seeing. Okay, so I guess these are just the standard people now. Ooh. Oh, god dang, there's a dog too. Go away, dog. You are messing up my backstabs. These motherfuckers are just plain annoying. Uh, okay, okay, I just need to heal up, relax, and, you know, teach this guy a thing or two. Aw, oh, yeah. So this looks like I'm gonna get lost. Excuse me, sir. Can I help you with your back problems? Got a guy right over there, and the Twin Dragon Great Shield. Nothing I'm interested in. Do 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 do. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, Bulbasaur. If Prince had a Bulbasaur, it would look like that. Tight Knight Shar, cool, cool. And these seem really easy to kill. That AoE cloud they're doing is poison damage. You can see the meter at the bottom of my screen because I touched it. Um, but overall, uh, the little jabby jab one shots him and uh, 40 a pop. Eh, not really farmable, but easy enough. And one more item over here. Another Tight Knight Shard, okay. Would really like some large Titanite shards, but I don't realistically see that happening until after this zone. Yep, getting lost. Okay. Got some more mad phantom signs on the ground, but. Since I'm in a brand new area, I'm going to hold off on summoning them. But if you guys enjoyed the PvP in this episode, please let me know, and I will make a point of doing more of it in the future. Try and work in, like, one PvP fight each episode, something to that effect. Hello? Hello? Can I cook you? Delicious. Hey, what, what the fuck are you doing? Alright, alright. That's valid. I was cheese dicking. My apologies. Okay, and it doesn't look like he comes back. That's fine. And, oh, there's another... God, there's lots of them. Fucking crabs everywhere. Invaded. Oh. Oh. Where is the invader? I'm so ready for another fight. Shit. Whoa, there's the invader. What the fuck? Where did you come from, asshole? Whew. Okay. You're about to pay, son. You about to pay. This is an NPC. Okay. What the... What the fuck are you shooting at? Get back here! Oh, you fucking ass this, bitch. Fine. You... Yeah. Um... <laughs> your opponent Estes is, as to my earlier point, if your opponent uses Estes, feel free to use Estes, like, 
keep it fair, but it's an etiquette thing, you know. It's a respect thing. Oh shit, are we getting invaded more? God damn. Alright, well, that guy's dead, and we got some items, and... Oh, oh, this is a person. Are you wearing Onion Knight's armor, you son of a bitch? I am going to fucking educate you. You killed Onion Knight, you will pay! You will pay for your crimes against humanity. Yeah! That's what you get for fucking killing Onion Knight, you piece of shit. Get... Oh, get off the fucking pussy. Get back here. Come on. Die. And the freaking NPCs will completely ignore him, so I have to do this fight against this blue covenant piece of shit while getting attacked by a giant crab. Fantastic. Uh, you will pay for killing Onion Knight. I will chase you until the ends of the earth and educate you in backstab philosophy. Fuck you, crap. I am fighting here. I am fi Oh. That's weird. Maybe because he hit it? It aggroed to him? I'm not 100% sure on the rules of... Uh, and he fucking uses Estus. See, this is the kind of piece of shit that I'm trying to warn against being in this game. Like, can you look at this fucker. Just, it, it's, it's pathetic. It just, it's not even cool. It's not even fun. Like, you're just ruining PvP for everybody. And you think you're the freaking good guy, you blue teen piece of shit. Well, we're the good guys because we stopped red invaders. No, I'm an honorable fighter. Oh, and, oh, and now there's two of them. Now there's fucking two because he's scared. Oh man, blue team is a bunch of bitches, and you can quote me on that. Join the fucking red team, bow before a fight, and just do it, you know? Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, mm. I hope you're proud of that one, you piece of shit. Alright, so what I'm gonna try to do to balance the odds here, because uh, this is, oh fuck, 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 this is not looking good. Um, I'm gonna burn some Estes because screw these guys. They're fucking cheating on so many different levels right now. Not cheating, just uh, not exactly engaging in a fair fight. I'm gonna try and get away from them, I think, and find some high ground and do a falling attack. And if I can just kind of out technical play them, I may still have a chance at least to kill the Onion Knight bastard. No, I'm sorry, the uh, the bastard that killed our good friend Sigurd, the Onion Knight. So... Uh, maybe... Uh, no, that doesn't help me at all. Not that I expected it would. But... Oh, you know what? Shit, there was a staircase there. That probably would have been perfect. Um, I'm just going to kite them back to the beginning if they want to follow me because I know there's a ledge there that I can use to jump down on them <laughs> yeah yeah I'm looting I'm looting I'm confident I'm not confident that I'm gonna beat them both but I'm confident that I can uh, teach them a thing or two about how to PvP in this game come on uh, fools. Okay, this is where I want to be. Let's try and... Nope, fucked it up. That's okay, they were too far behind me anyways. Here we go, here we go, perfect. Yes, gotcha. Oh, fucking duo freaking assholes. Alright guys, that's where we're going to call this video for today. Thank you all so much for watching and giving me a reason to make this content. I've been working really hard to bring out new videos Monday through Friday, and if you want to help me do that, you can go over to patreon.com forward slash wolfcore and support me that way. Or just like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, or you can follow me over at Twitch as wolfcoreog. We're going to be doing live speedruns and community hangouts, 
That's going to be starting as soon as Season 1 finishes. So look forward to that and come check me out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.